Now, I mentioned that uh, the macronutrients are not in, an, in a currency that our cells can use. Um, the currency that our cells use is called ATP. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. Let's take a look at the components that make up ATP. So this is the adenosine portion. Adenosine is made of a nitrogen base, this is adenine, plus a ribose sugar, this is a uh, five carbon sugar that's very similar to the nucleotides that make up our DNA. And then attached to that are these three phosphate groups. And that, that's what makes up the triphosphate of ATP. Now, what is especially important about ATP is that these chemical bonds between the phosphates, these are very high energy bonds. And that is actually how we're storing energy in ATP. This is chemical energy that is stored in the phosphate bonds of ATP. When we break off one of the phosphates from ATP in order to convert it to ADP or adenosine diphosphate, two phosphates, that is when we are going to release energy because we are releasing the energy that was previously held in that chemical bond between the two phosphates. And then when we are taking ADP with the two phosphates and adding a phosphate and adding a phosphate back to it, that is going to require an energy investment. Energy is required in order to add this phosphate onto, um, to make ATP and uh, to input the energy into that phosphate high energy bond. So overall, ATP is the energy currency that our cells use. You could kind of think of it like the money that our cells use.